Hi, um, I just have a quick question. I was wondering if someone could help me with it. Sure. Do you have time? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, um, I was like watching the broadcast, like it, it's on the website. It's kind of like a TV show. Have you ever seen that? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah. And he was referring to a certain book. So I was kind of looking at that book, which is on the website. Or organized to do God's will. Yeah. Uh -huh. he, did you see that one where he was talking yeah. about it? Well, I was so surprised by just the first couple of pages, just something jumped out at me. Um, like how many times it repeated the word organization? Like, and so I was, and he also said when it says association, that means organization. So it looked like within two pages, there was about 15 times, you know, use that word. So I was just kind of curious, and I um, I searched it on the New World Translation Bible, and it's not in there at all, the word organization. Mm -hmm. So Yes, well, the, the, the object of that book has to do with the, uh, the way that the modern-day you know, group of Jehovah's Witnesses is uh, organized to do those very, the things that the Bible says Christians should do you know, as far as the preaching the good news of the kingdom, which they no doubt mentioned that in connection with the organization. But your, your question is, why isn't it in the Bible? Yeah, I think organized or organized was just a few times in some obscure references. But, um, you know, because I've heard Jehovah's Witnesses use that argument with me on a few other points that that word is not in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Well, I understand your feelings on it. Uh, is that the, the, uh, your research, is this in connection with uh, religious studies at uh, UNC or just your personal interest? Oh, personal. I just love theology and Bible study, you know. And then I also looked it up on the um, – it's not just this book about organization. I looked it up on the um, – I have the library of all the publications from, like, 1950, some of them from 1970. You can search a word – and um, mm -hmm. organized or organization is on there 12,846 times. So sometimes when people keep using a word repetitively, it could be like a technique, you know. Like there's even a place where they said, come to Jehovah's organization for salvation, you know, which as far as I ever read the New Testament, it talks about coming to Christ for salvation. So um, even that seems... Uh, confusing. Well, I, I don't know what the reference is to mm -hmm. the Organization for Salvation, but that's... Mm. Do you want the reference so you could old, see it? Well, it has to be a pretty old reference. Uh, oh, they don't teach you know, that anymore? Because you mean they taught that... I mean, it's taught as a requirement in several publications and books... Um, that one of the requirements for eternal life on paradise earth is to find Jehovah's organization and serve within it. So um, that's not anything, you know, are you saying they, they changed that now? Well, uh, obviously, you know, on the spur of the moment, I'm, I'm not really in a position to give you, you know, very accurate, clear, reasonable answers to, to your interests. Well, that's a that's a that's a very uh, that's one of their unique teachings, and it's very uh, most people would consider kind of you know different than Christian teaching or the New Testament teaching. Um, and you're a qualified minister. Well, let me, you can't let me speak back to that. And let, let me back up mm -hmm. and and let you know how I feel personally about that term organization. 
Mm -hmm. and why I'm not as troubled as you are about it. Everywhere we look, we see good organization. You know, if, if we look at living things, trees, you know, the, the universe, the stars, the solar system, everything we see down to the cellular and molecular level, the atomic level, all of it follows very clear uh, arrangements. You know, organi they're organized. They have purpose, obviously. You know, they fulfill a purpose like trees do. Uh, certain animals, uh, you know, come to mind. They have their purpose or place. Uh, so although, you know, the, or the word organization may not be uh, used explicitly, directly, yet everything it implies is true of what the Bible says. Well, I guess so, your, your speech about nature and cells, jumping from that to somehow trying to prove the Watchtower is Jehovah's organization because he's organized, I mean, doesn't that seem like a huge leap to you? A leap of logic? Well, if we look at the early Christian congregation, and it was truly organized. It, it was not a chaotic or, uh, you know, asynchronous situation where people were independently doing things. Did they say you had to join them to, to be saved, or did they preach the name of Jesus Christ? Like in Acts 4.12, it says that there's no other name given a under heaven among men by which we must be saved. So whether or not they sent people out in an organized way or had leaders in the local congregations, and they did have the apostles who were still on earth at that time, but I don't know if you want to claim apostolic authority for the governing body. I don't know if that's where you're going because they continually claim, you know, they're not apostles or prophets. So, um you know, being organized being organized you know, is different than saying you have to join a certain group to become, you know, right with God. So, so what, in, in your, uh, you know, feelings about things, your understanding of the scriptures, the opposite of organization or the opposite of what you are you're saying that we falsely claim to be an organization or a, a, an organization authorized or supported by the scripture the individuals that serve God, in your view, they can serve God independent of anyone else that is merely, a, if, if you will, a a one by one arrangement of things. Well, you're you're you're, you're setting up a you're setting up a straw man, and that's not what I I no, said. I you're you're, not. you're going you're going to the opposite extreme of saying that on the one hand there's some organization, which is a word the Bible doesn't even use, that you must join to have eternal life, when in point of fact, the Bible does teach personal faith in Christ for salvation. And then secondly, it teaches that believers should meet together and that we can have teachers to help us that know more than us. But I would never consider any of them or any group God's only channel or organization. So you're just setting up a straw man saying, I'm saying well, you don't need I, anybody, I, you know, so that I, doesn't. I appreciate your, uh, you know, interest in these matters. However, uh, it, it certainly seems clear to me that uh, uh, any answer I would give you uh, is not going to be satisfactory because uh, you feel the very premise of our reasoning is incorrect. Mm, yeah. I, idle to those feelings. Uh, we have you have, have you lot. ever read a lot of scriptures in the New Testament about, um, you know, Christ is eternal life? He's the door. I, um, I, he's, I do appreciate your feelings and your, you know. Well, it's not a feeling. It's, it's, it's the teaching of the New Testament. And why are you reinterpreting it as a feeling? So you can just pass it off, you know. Jesus calls himself the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes to the Father but through me. Why didn't he mention and the organization if you have to have it? The, the answers to those questions that you pose 
and I'm, you know, certainly hoping they are sincerely asked, you know, uh, require more than a brief conversation on the phone with no preparation. You know, obviously you've spent some good amount of time developing these uh, lines of reasoning and the supporting evidence that you say is in the scripture. And so we respect that. But, you know, as, uh, you know, on, in turn for turn, you would want to accord us the same opportunity to spend the same amount of time in a, in a you know, reasonable context to answer those questions. And that really is not case here in this phone conversation. We can't do that. So I'm just going to have to say, you know, thank you for your interest. If you have, you know, a real interest in these things, I can certainly arrange to have you visited by someone to give me your name and address. But if you'd rather be anonymous, you know, that's fine, too. Okay. Well, I hope also that you will read the Gospel of John, the Book of Acts, the Book of Romans, the Book of Galatians, really the whole New Testament, and see if it points to any organization or if it points to the person of Jesus Christ as our all-sufficient Savior, you know, for salvation, for the forgiveness of sins. And a great website is called uh, jwfacts.com. And um, thanks for talking to me about it. Have a good day. You too. God bless.